What's going on guys? This is STG. On this episode, I got a couple mail calls and I also have a couple pickups I want to show you guys. So, I got a couple pieces of mail. We're going to start out with the first piece of mail. I believe it is from MSJ. I did not look inside to see what he sent me. I just cut it open and I believe he said he was going to send me his new sticker he has another design or maybe poker chip i don't remember and check it out what do we got here oh check it out silver eagle coins and collectibles that is awesome i'm definitely gonna have to check them out thank you so much msj appreciate it I do like my rolex i have my submariner this is a little newer model i could tell i have a little older one very nice, very nice. Oh, yes, he said I won something on Tuli's uh, channel. He did a giveaway, and I guess I was, one of my comments or something was picked, and uh, I won a little one tenth ounce silver piece here, and I believe it was actually from this coin shop. So thank you, Silver Eagle. And thank you, MSJ, and thank you, Tuli. I really do appreciate this. Beautiful little buffalo. Highland Mint. Very nice. Thank you. And, yes, we do have it. We do have the new channel sticker and the channel magnet. So thank you so much. I believe this is the final version. Beautiful. Thank you so much, MSJ. And we have a little note here. What's up, brother? I hope you're doing well. Congrats on the win on Tuli's live stream. I hope you like the little goodie. Take care. God bless. P.S. Also sent you members goodies. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. MSJ. I, I really do appreciate this, brother. Thank you so much. I really do like the final product. Came out very nice. Thank you. And thank you, Tuli. And thank you, Silver Eagle. On the next piece of mail... We have, I just submit, I just subscribed to Pirate as a premium member. I've been subscribed to Pirate for years now, and I'm really sorry I haven't been watching his channel too much. I used to love watching his videos where he would donate blood and he would exchange it for gold and silver. I just thought that was the most awesome way to stack precious metals. And I've been watching a few videos of him and Fish recently, going to the fun show, and uh, he does some cool stuff on his channel. He's an awesome dude, and I really appreciate him participating in the Crazy Aztecs video. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Very nice of him to take a shot for me, so I really do appreciate that, Pirate. And I am now a premium member. So let's see the benefits of being a premium member. Check it out, guys. Oh, nice. Beautiful, man. Beautiful sticker. Really like this. I, I think I want to say Flatline Racer designed this. We got his new channel logo. Very nice. Hollow. We got some bottles of rum there. Canon. Of course, Pirate. Who's that supposed to be? Blackbeard? <laughs> Very nice. I like that. Awesome. We got the Pirate Stacker YouTube sticker. And we got the little minis here. Very nice. Thank you so much, Pirate. This is pretty this is this is a this is really cool. I don't think they had any AK-47 looking guns back in the day. <laughs> but <laughs> that's pretty cool though. I would have, I personally would have went with something like a blunderbuss, but, um, that's just me. <laughs> maybe a, maybe a dueling pistol instead of a, uh, what is that? A Glock? <laughs> so, really awesome though. Thank you so much. I really do like these. Very nice. And here it is. Welcome to the pirate crew, you gunner. Here's my pirate chip. Consider it your first month's pay arc. Pirate Stacker. Thank you so much, Pirate. Man, I got... This is what I got to do to get stickers from you. <laughs> it's all good, brother. I still got your original stickers that you sent me. I really like that one. Um, I, it's not here anymore, but that original one that you sent me was really awesome. 
that that's probably still my favorite one but these are really awesome designs I, they're really cool uh, so thank you so much I do appreciate this first month's pay and it and it's definitely well worth it all right guys oh sorry for my tripod here it's it's uh it's it's moving it's doing its own thing here so guys i will show you the pickups i picked this up on the drop and guys i am so happy because gold just hit a new record high of over 1500 hours an ounce guys I mean, what am i saying 2500 hours an ounce sorry for that so i wish it was 1500 hours an ounce that's a, that's probably around when i started stacking it's probably gone up about a thousand dollars since then so you know i remember when it went up over a thousand dollars it was like 800 one day and then a few months later it was like 1200 hours so i do remember following gold and silver i have been following it for a while now even before i started stacking i've always been interested in it and the bug just hit me about five six years ago when i got my first gold coins so Aside from that, we are going to show some silver and some gold I recently picked up. So I go to an online bullion dealer. He has a little shop in, let's just say, nor northern northwest part of the U.S. And he lists a few things on his website. He really does not have much. But once in a while, he has some coins that I'm interested in. I've gotten some really interesting stuff from him. I've gotten a 15,000 vintage uh, 10 ounce Ingo Hard bar. I've gotten an 1860s British Sovereign. So I've gotten some cool stuff from him. And I did buy a kookaburra from him in the past with a monkey privy mark. So guys, I did get another kookaburra and check it out. It is the 2016. So I actually do have this one already. If anyone is interested and wants to trade or wants to buy it, let me know. We could work something out. I'm always open to trading and selling on here. And it's one I have already. So that's probably going to be up for sale real soon uh, as of this video airing. <laughs> I also did get one other coin. He actually had that kookaburra up for about three or four months. And I was just waiting for the price of silver to go down. And about a month or so ago, he added another coin that I wanted. And guys, no one was buying it. I don't think too many people visit this website, and I kind of want to keep it a secret. It's not like I buy from this website too often. Maybe two to three times a year tops I buy from it. They have some stuff that I actually like at decent prices. So when he listed this, I said, I got to get those coins. I waited for the drop, and guys, check it out. It was well worth the wait. I got this beautiful two ounce Onza, actually Libertad, <laughs> what am I saying, Onza, so this is a beautiful, it's fairly high mintage, I believe now this is probably the third highest mintage from 2018, just a beautiful design guys, I believe it's around a little over 20,000 mintage. I think the 2023 was actually probably now the second highest mintage. I know they minted, I think it was like 23,000. It might even be the highest. Uh, they just made a ton of these last year. So I, I, I really don't care. They're all pretty low mintages. I mean, the highest mintage was around that, 22, 23,000. So um, yeah, I mean, it's just a great, awesome coin to have. And it's a year that I don't have. So it's definitely going in my stack. And guys, I got the best for last, the gold. So I was on a forum, and uh, I basically saw a guy who I've done business with before. He was selling some gold. And, you know, I basically said, I'm looking to buy some gold. And he's like, oh, let me, let me show you what I got. And he showed me some pre-33 gold coins. And I said, wow, these are pretty nice. But one of them stood out in particular to me. And... He gave me a price, and I'm like, oh, that's really reasonable. So check it out, guys. Look what I got. Got another $10 Indian, guys. Beautiful coin. Look at that. MS62, 1913. Now, I was a little disappointed because the holder does have some dings in it. And I told him, and he wanted to make it right. He said, do I want to return it? I said, no, I don't want to return it. I'm probably going to have this reholdered. 
And I think NGC only charges about $13, and luckily I'm an NGC member, so I'm probably just going to have it reholdered. He's like, you want me to pay for it? I'm like, nah, it's all right. I was just having a bad day that day, so it's all good. I didn't see this when I bought it, but it's you know what? It's all good. I got it for a pretty good deal, so I'm not complaining. And just look at that luster on that coin. That is a beautiful $10 Indian. These are made from 1908 until 1933. The Gold Confiscation Act, which made it illegal to own more than, I believe it was $100 in gold at the time. So you, you could have had 100 of these. I'm, I'm sorry, you could have had 10 of these. That equals $100. And you would have been okay. So, just a beautiful coin. My favorite design, guys, as you probably are aware of, based on my channel logo. And I could just stare at this coin all day. So, I've been very fortunate. This is my fourth one that I've picked up this year so far. I believe there are about 27 in the series. I, I'm definitely not going to be able to get all of them because some of the older... <clears throat> or should I say newer, the 1933, for example, there are only about 50 known examples. I think it's like 54. And they generally go for a few hundred thousand dollars each. And that's usually in the worst condition, <laughs> which is generally in about this condition. So, um, yeah, that's probably a coin I'm never going to add to my collection. However, if I could get most of the other ones, that would be awesome. I did order a ton of gold and a ton of silver during the drop, guys. I'm really excited to be able to offer some vintage silver bars to the community at a great price. So I'm really looking forward to those. They should be coming in real soon. And hopefully I could get something together with Emerald. We're going to have a little silver, a little gold, and there's going to be some surprises. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all so much for watching till the end. I really do appreciate your support. I am not monetized yet. I was eh, kind of close last year. I probably was like less than 200 hours away. <laughs> and then I kind of stopped making videos a little bit. Now I'm about a few hundred hours away. And I, guys, I really don't care. Honestly, if I do get monetized, I'm just going to basically take all that money after taxes and just put it all back and just give away silver and gold to the community. That's what I want to do. I'm not trying to make any money from YouTube. So that's just me personally. I don't I don't need that money. That money I believe should go back to the people who support me. So that's what I'm going to do if I get monetized. I'm hoping by next year I'll get monetized. So we'll see how that happens if it happens. <laughs> That's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and as always, stack that.